doing well. Today I'll be talking to you about birth control methods. So these methods are also called contraceptive methods. So by contraception I mean uh, contraception that means against conception. And these methods are basically very important to space between two pregnancies. It is very important for a woman's life and to prevent uh, sexually transmitted diseases in some cases and very important to avoid unwanted pregnancies. An ideal contraceptive should be safe, long-lasting, effective and reversible at the same time. The contraceptive methods can be divided widely into the temporary method and the permanent method. So uh, these temporary methods can be barrier methods, intrauterine devices, oral pills or emergency contraception. The permanent methods are where the fertility is not reversible like sterilization, the female sterilization and the male sterilization. The male sterilization is also known as vasectomy and the female sterilization is known as tubectomy. Now we'll get to these methods one by one. Coming to the barrier methods. So these barrier methods are basically, they prevent the entry of the sperm into the vagina. So these are basically condoms which are made up of polyurethane or latex. The advantages of these methods are, there are no side effects, they are cheap and they can, are easily readily available. And advantages of these barrier methods are that they prevent against sexually transmitted diseases. The disadvantages are that it has a high failure rate, but the efficacy can be improved by adding spermicides to it which are easily available in the market in the form of soluble pills, creams and gels. Now coming to uh, intrauterine devices. These intrauterine devices can be classified into medicated ones and non-medicated ones. Now these non-medicated ones are the more popular like commonly known as copper tea and the medicated ones are uh, Mirena, the common one which is usually used in abnormal uterine bleeding. What happens is, these medicated ones contain the hormone which is slowly released into the uterus. Now these uh, intrauterine devices usually act by causing biochemical and histological changes in the uterine surface. Now how is it inserted? These properties are usually inserted after the, the menses of the women gets over on the 4th or 5th day, they can be easily inserted in the OPD. They are usually inserted with the sterile non-touch technique and they are very safe. These uh, properties can be inserted at any time like it can be post delivery, following abortion. Now coming to the most important type of contraception with very less side effects. These are oral pills. These are usually taken in a sequential manner. They consist of two types of hormones, one is estrogen, another is progesterone. So they basically act by uh, inhibiting the ovulation. Now there are many types of pills available in the market. In earlier days we used to have pills with you know lot of side effects but nowadays we have very low dose pills which have very good side effect profile. By that I mean they have very less side effects. Now how do we start these pills? These pills are usually started on the day 2 or day 5 of the cycle. They are continued for 21 days and then preferably to be taken on the same time at night and then when the woman st stops these pills she gets her menses. Again on the next month, the second day she starts these pills. In case of missing a pill, like if a woman has missed a pill on one night she can take it as soon as she remembers it or the next day she can take two pills. If a woman subsequently uh, forgets to take the pill for two days, then the next two days she can continue with two two pills the consecutive nights. These are, uh, before prescribing such a pill, I would like to take a detailed history of a female to rule out any thromboembolism histories, any history of hypertension, diabetes, or any other coagulation disorder. A uh, lady has to be done like a detailed examination and a pelvic examination before prescribing the oval pill. Now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of these pills. These pills, uh, the advantages are that in cases of severe premenstrual syndromes, 
in cases of abnormally recurrent bleeding and in cases where there is a lot of dysmenorrhea these pills are really helpful in such cases it acts very well and these conditions are relieved so these are the advantages of these pills now disadvantages are the side effects basically are women can develop water retention nausea vomiting that she can develop a thromboembolism or uh, disorders like migraine now coming to the set of patients where i would not like to prescribe such pills are a lady with a history of liver disorder thromboembolism hypertension diabetes or any other cardiovascular disorder so by that i mean that a detailed history of a lady has to be taken before prescribing such a pill and a general physical examination and a pelvic examination is mandatory these pills uh, a special mention for a progesterone only pill or a mini pill these mini pills are usually given to ladies where estrogen the combination pill cannot be prescribed for example most importantly in breastfeeding mothers these pills can be given it is also called mini pill The thing is that these mini pills have to be given continuously without a gap in between. Don't forget to like and share this video. For more such videos, do subscribe to the M Fine channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update.